Good morning. Why does Jesus do this triumphal entry thing and then just turn around and leave? Let's read in the Gospel of Mark. We're looking today at Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. Now when they drew near Jerusalem to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples. And he said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and as soon as you have entered it, you will find a colt tied on which no one has sat. Loose it and bring it. And if anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and immediately he will send it here. So they went their way and found the colt tied by the door outside on the street, and they loosed it. But some of those who stood there said to them, What are you doing loosing the colt? And they spoke to him just as Jesus had commanded. So they let them go. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their clothes on it, and he sat on it. And many spread their clothes on the road, and others cut down leafy branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then those who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus went into Jerusalem and into the temple, and when he had looked around at all things as the hour was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. <laughs> so, kind of an anti-climax here, right? Jesus, it's the triumphal entry, the laying out the clothes on the road. Here comes Jesus riding on the, on the donkey. And this is the entry of the king into his, into his space. But he just goes in and looks around in the temple, and then he leaves. What in the world is going on here? Okay, so here, here it is. You know, the temple is not operating as a holy place. They're using the place as a market. It's, you know, it's farmer's market day. That's not exactly farmer's market. They're selling uh, doves and animals for sacrifices, but it's, it's basically just become a marketplace. And here are the priests making extra cash uh, from these sacrifices they're selling. It's, it is a, a, an awful scene. It's defeating the very purpose that God has for his temple. The plan is that this will be a place of reconciliation between God and man, but between man and man, that sin will be addressed here. And so this is all about that. But this isn't about the making some extra money by selling the sacrifices. It's just, it's just completely off course. So Jesus comes to the temple and pretty much turns around and leaves. Well, I think there is a spiritual lesson, though, for us here, don't you? Isn't it true that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? And if it's going to be holy, if God's going to come and dwell in it, it needs to be clean, it needs to be pure, it needs to be ready to receive him. And in this case, what happens? Jesus comes, he's there very briefly, and boom, he's gone. So I think there's a lesson in here for us. What is it in your life and mine? Is there anything, is there some traffic going, taking place in our heart? Is there anything that's keeping us from being able to receive the holy presence of God? We might want to do it, take some inventory and check on that because if something's in the way, Jesus, you know, Jesus will come and he will, boom, he'll take off and leave. We need to be available to him. And I'm sure to these people in the temple that everything was, was kind of normal. This is the way it had been for so many years. It just seemed totally normal, the buying and selling of doves, of doves right in the temple. But it was all wrong. And there's a lot of things that are probably things you and I are, are used to seeing, used to living in, but it might be all wrong. So let's take and ask God to help us with some doing some inventory. There might be some things in our life that are all wrong. It might be preventing Jesus through his Holy Spirit from staying with us. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, please bless us. We want you to come. We want you to occupy our body temple. But we don't want this case like we see here in the literal temple in Jerusalem. We don't want this case for us. We want you to be able to come and stay. So, Lord, help us. Help us open our eyes. Help open our ears so that we can see and hear from you and understand what might be impeding, holding you back from coming and staying with us. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name we ask for this. Amen. Well, so there's the question. Could there be anything in your experience right now that's making it harder for you to receive the presence of the person of the Holy Spirit? Something I hope you'll take inventory on today. God be with you.